Hey everyone, Corey from Aquarium Co-op, and today we're outside the wet spot. This is, you know, an internationally known store, and I'm going to take you through a, a walkthrough. So, stay tuned. So, we've just walked inside. You can see there's a vast amount of tanks here. We're going to go through all of them today. It's a couple of rooms. It's almost like a warehouse in here, really. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started, it's going to take a while. So. You know, they've even got their own mugs and glasses and things like that, but this is like a 500 gallon uh, Mabuna tank. And uh, you can see, I think it's about 30 inches front to back and about 30 inches tall. And I would spend more time looking at this, but you know, there's literally like, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds of tanks to get through. And without making this video uh, too long, we wanna make sure you get to see it all, so. So yeah, it's gonna kind of span the dry goods. There's lots of cool like wood carvings and stuff, like arowana that's always super cool. And there's some angels and things like that. And lots of people shopping. So yeah, lots of plants to work baby tears. So I'm not going to name all the plants, but once we get to fish, I'll start naming. I like these. I love their, their chicklet bowl. Lots of java fern here. All right, starting to get some fish. So we've got some pearl scales and some butterfly goldfish. We've got lots of rock and stuff underneath all the bins here, but you can see this is just the first row of like eight rows to go through. But we've got Odessa barbs and the mascara barbs, which are cool. Um, I'm not sure which type uh, that barb is up there, but we'll keep moving here. Some rainbows, looks like. And we've got some, what is this, the golden loach? Let's see if I can find it on here. The queen loach. We've got the queen loach. And then we've got, uh, what is it, nanochromus in here? Yeah, we've got some nanochromus. And we've got Congo tetras, lots of those. Some bushfish in there, apparently. Down low, we've got some, uh, some black moors. And we've got some arandas, both calico and some ryukins, that type of thing. We've got some of the uh, Celestial eye goldfish. Oh, is this a bunch of snakeskin barbs or, uh, let's see, or clown barbs, yeah. All running the uh, matten filters here on the side. Provides awesome filtration. Keep moving here. Tiger barbs and, uh, you know, what, gold grommies, that type of thing. Uh, ranchus and pom pom goldfish. More tiger barbs and some other uh, uh, some rasboras. Hmm. These are clouded archers, I think. Is that right? Yeah, clouded archer. And these are cool fish. It's a true freshwater, uh, true freshwater archer, which is neat. There's a nice planted goldfish tank up here. See this Mr. Aqua 12 long. Yeah, let's dive into some more of the, the cichlid side here. And so, one of the display tanks, the wet spot is known for snuffers here. Let's see if I can find it, which is, it's a fire eel the size of your arm. And so, unless you're like a baby, Realize this is a really big fire eel. See if I can get it without the glare here. But I'm just looking at his tail. Oh, here's his face right here. This thing is literally like three feet long and as round as your arm. The thing is massive. So make sure if you ever stop by here, you gotta 
got to come see Snuffers because he is amazing. He or she, I guess. I don't know specifically, but... All right, so we had some more Africans here. We've got Frontozas, and we've got some Cylindricus. We've got Calvis, and... Um, well, it looks like there's still a lot of trophies to both CI, but some Julicomus ornatus albino. I hadn't seen those before, but maybe, you know, maybe you guys have. Some ink spot calvis, uh, some neolamprologus fasciatus. Uh, there's some dwarf petricolas and some multis in there as well. Down low, looks like we've got burchardi. Ooh, and in theory, somewhere in here, they've got the uh, compressed up sumbo dwarf for. $29.99, that's a very, very rare fish. I would wager it's, oh, there we go. Right on the back side there. That is a very rare fish to find. At least in my experience, it has not been easy to track down. Uh, then here we've got some of the feather fins, which those fish look amazing when they grow up. They take years to color up, but. And they've also got, well, there's got to be some gold ocelotus, yep, and uh, some julies, and some of the Tanganyikan killie, as well as, I saw back here, there was a uh, uh, multipunctatus catfish, Cynodonus, but he's hiding now, so I'm just going to move on. Uh, some more fronts. Yeah, lots of fronts. And is it similaris? Let's see. Oh, no, more Maltese. And uh, now we're gonna keep moving. More Calvis, or at least compressed seps. Uh, more Burchardi. These are the daffodil variety. Up here we've got some Trophius. We have the uh, Morai Orange Flame. And there's some Ornatus. We got some Sip, or at least a Sip down here. How's it going? And we've got, looks like some more uh, Ocelotus Gold and, is it Morai? Yeah, carry spots out of the Trophius. Down here, what is the Mustax? Is that what we have? Uh, no, I don't know that fish. There's a nice Cynodonus. It's the, uh, the Multipunctatus I was trying to show you earlier, and a very nice Calvis. Yeah, that's. Anyone would be happy to have that guy. Uh, some more Julia Chromis up here and some Lupi. So we've got back here that I've, I've been missing. Um, red zebras and some uh, uh, OB zebras. What we got down here is it. Yeah, Cyrotropia Slosi. Pardon me. Got some what? Kenny Eye? No, uh, Magianos. There's some more cats here. We've got the, uh, large squeaker cat. Some more Shelly's. Got rope fish. All right, we got clown loaches and rainbows in this tank. Ball of sharks and another type of uh, what I'm trying to even see here. Oh, clown rasbora. We've got some more barbs down here, rosy barbs. I'm gonna flip around here and go. Uh, down the next row here. Lots of rose line sharks. And so, you know, when you're looking down this row here, the other thing to realize, like, we see Greg Sage and Dean talking there, but all the way down the other end, these are all like 40 long tanks. So it's like 55 gallon tanks. And these are 55s down here, I believe. So lots of water, you know, good water quality. They change lots of water here, that type of thing. Uh, but, you know, some goldfish down here. You know, lots of warnings too, you know, goldfish shouldn't go in bowls and things like that. So they're doing the responsible thing. More goldfish. Got rainbows up here. More rainbows and angels. Pictus cats as well. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Lots of glow fish. Lots of glow fish. Scoot right by you guys. So more of the of the filament barbs, things like that. More Congos. And then angels as well, and some of the bigger of the rarer barbs, which is kind of cool to see. But I'm going to go ahead and flip around. The store is getting real busy. It's Saturday. So, yeah. So then we've got a sit down area next to the bagging station that they use here at the store. And uh, so when you sit down in here, you can see some of the the fun display tanks looks like a planet tank with you know angels and uh, rummies and things like that and then if I pan around here we've got I believe its name is Francis Does it say yeah Francis Francis the Nile puffer which is a, a Faka puffer and that's this guy here looks like he's in a 120 or so and then we've got um, looks like a it's like a 180 here, and it's got big clown loaches and uh, some different. I got a flying fox back there, and we've got maybe a cigar sharks and you know, some more of those resboras. So that's kind of a cool tank you don't see every day. Lots of driftwood. But I'm gonna keep moving because there's literally hundreds more tanks to go. So I'm gonna mix it up and go through some of the cichlids here. We've got a rainbow display tank. So this is the other room. I'm gonna see if I can get a, a shot kind of of this from the end here. So all the floors are raised because they're you know set up for auto water changing and things. Um, but yeah, let's go through here. So some more display tanks and then Let's see, looks like we got a Midas cichlid and some uh, fire mouths. So we're gonna see some, some of the rarer stuff and there's some discus here. Buffalo head cichlids. Or the pinstripe dembas. Some of the Madagascar cichlids, which are, you know, rare. More discus. What we have over here, we've got uh, some juraparis, wild caught juraparis, some jewel cichlids. Ooh, pardon me. Lots more discus. Big Oscar here. The two spot Damon cichlid. Over here we've got silver dollars and we got uh, some pink tailed Chelsius. Looks like down here we've got convicts or black belt cichlids. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, mostly convicts and black belt cichlid there. Some rare loaches and things. It's a flame tail loach there. Let's see if I can find some more oddballs. What have we got? Like an ornate biter here. Let's see, uh, oh, a Paulini Biter. And it also looks to be a Delhizi back there as well. More discus. Some pike cichlids. A belly crawler pike. Looks like a, a Lima shovel nose as well. Looks like we have the rarer type of buffalo head cichlid, the, what is it, the Tenanti? Let me see if I'm right. Yep. Yeah, Tenanti. And then we've got uh, the Telogramma Bracharti in there as well, which I believe were this guy here. Oh, baby or one. Is that a black or one? No, just almost silver up there with the discus. Uh, Jardini and this one with the discus, as you can see. Down low, what do we got hiding here? More biters. So we've got some Jack Dempsey's and some Oscars in here with some uh, fire mouths. Some more angels up here. Starting to get some, <coughs> pardon me, starting to get some of the Africans now. Um, you know, like the 
Tanzania, you know, not the Starry Night Six. I'm trying to remember what they would call that guy, but Star Spangled Cichlid? I don't know. Losing my mind, but lots more Africans down here. Some trophy ops and stuff. We've got some peacocks up here. You know, what is, I'm just guessing without reading all the tags, but you know, some red shoulders and yeah, the Nagara, that's what I was thinking. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep moving along here. Some jewel cichlids, some more discus up top. Lots of discus. Got a red terror or a feste. It's a nice looking fish there. Right here, some more assorted Africans. Amazing prices, look at that. Three dollars each or four for 10, that's hard to say no to. Uh, let's see, what else we have here? I'm not sure what type of barb that is. It's cool looking, let's see here. It's gonna be, hmm. Oh, the Indian lemon fin barb, that's what it is. Sorry for the camera angles, I'm just dodging customers as people are buying and looking. More clown loaches. Those are some nice sized clowns too. Lots of dry goods out here, you know, all the tanks you could want. There's t-shirts and foods and, you know, glass tops. Every inch of space is used in this place. You can see they just have, you know, infinite stock. That's why people love this place, is they've got everything. Go through some bettas here and some more display tanks. So, lots of bettas to look at. Lots of displays. You can see. You know, some exodons. You don't see those all the time. Lots of ADA substrate. Look at that. That's, Got some Demasoni in here. More Johannes. Got red zebras. Pea puffer tank. You can see that every day. That's a lot of the elephant noses. Articulated biter there. Some electros. A couple more displays, trophies to both sides. Another bagging station. They literally have multiple bagging stations and nets, so you can see they're sterilizing nets between use. Dirty nets and clean nets. We always like to see that. That's thumbs up, you know, keeping the tanks clean between the system. It's not a central filtration system here, it's uh, you know, individual, which we always recommend, or at least I always like to see. Uh, but, you know, we've got dovi and wolf cichlids and rainbow cichlids in this tank. We've got some earth eaters up here. We've got abolios, the Colombian cermenesis. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, Rio Capon and the Cuban cichlid. Keyholes, some blood parrots up there. Pardon me. Wild caught geos. We have some festes, festivums, not festes, festivums, with some more geos. Albios. Got some Severums. We've got some Oscars down here. More Cuban cichlids. We've got some Bio Chidoma uh, Warvinis, the Orinoco Earth Eater. We've got what? 100 and Red Points and the Black Nasties. Got some green severums, gold severum, 
And then this is a Brasiliensis. Some peacock bass. Lots of silver dollars. Leticara therii. Red humper theater. Pink convict. Your Bolito Geos. Should be the dwarf. Yeah, the dwarf giraffe cat. Some more Jurapari. Some more displays. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Some Amazon puffers. Lots of lighting. Got some blue eye rainbows here, which is Catrude. We got the drape fin barb. Let's see if I can find any of the rarer fish that are in here. A lot of the rare fish are going to hide on us. But we've got some of the green rasboras. The kabutai. Red Ember Tetras and the Calico uh, Bristle Nose. We've got Elian's Coreys, Sadalis Coreys, and Sturbi. Looks like they're sold out of the Sturbi's down there. Some Hasbrosis and some Trilineatus. Looks like we got some Black Dragon Guppies. And we've got some Epistos. These are going to be the Double Red Episto. Egazizi Eye. Cardinal Tetras. The blue Cory, huh? Oh yeah, okay. That's, I was looking at the other Cory, the, the Decker Cory. That's why I wasn't seeing the blue. And Celestial Pearl Danios. Dwarf Rasbora there. And we've got some of the uh, strawberry Rasboras. What else do we have? Some uh, Nalini Cories or the Bandit Cory Mete, yeah. And we've got Neons up here. We've got some of the purple uh, Harlequin Rasboras. These are the Diamond Head Neons, yeah, they are. These are the Diamond Head Neons. We got Corydoras Hestatus down here. And we've got some of the orange laser quarries. And we've got a Pisto Irende. That's a rare Pisto you don't see too often. And we've got some of the rosy loaches and things like that up there. Over here we've got the fire red Egazizi Eye. That's a nice fish. Kind of newer to the hobby. Uh, down here we've got Pygmaeus Cories. This is the Pygmy Cory. And here we've got a lot of um, checkerboard cichlids. And we've got some of the uh, Melotenia, the gold green Cory, down here. And then we've got some of the, uh, hmm, I, don't, I haven't seen that one before, Corydoras opiquensis. Focus in on that, but. We got some green neons up here. Oh, that's a fish I don't know. Oh, I do know that fish. It's just a black darter tetra. It can be a little tricky to keep in home aquarium. Norman Lamp Achilles. We got glow light tetras and the Borelli Pistogramma. Some pork chop SBI. Or Hangley, sorry. Narrow wedge. Pistogramma cockatoides triple reds, or you can see there he's going around the cave. And we've got some, um, let's see, I don't see any of the Weitzman eye in there, but skunk quarries for sure. Oh, yeah, the Weitzman eye right here in the corner. Blue neon. 
guppies. More Gertrude, right? No, Fricados, my bad. And there's Pork Chop Raspberry SBI. And then we've got Lipstick Barbs. Some more stir by Cory's. Albino Cory's. Yeah, this is. I like this Tetra. I call it the Kitty Tetra a lot of times. Some Kumba Killies. Some Electric Blue Rams. Some Gold White Clouds. Some Pearl Danios. Got some serpent loaches up here. There's lots of those. It's like a little half beak up there. You got some of the koi sword tails, assorted platies. It looks like um, more sword tails. And some uh, Bolivian rams. See plenty of people shopping here. It's busy and hard to shoot the video actually. Uh, let's see, we've got Cardinal Tetras, and over here looks like what, Alba Marginata? Let's see, for better, oh no, my bad. Um, Ninja is a common name. Oh, pardon me. Ooh, yeah, Scarlet Gobi. It's a cool fish. Head and tail light Tetra. Some frogs and guppies down there. German Blue Rams, Von Rio Tetras, a little Zipper Loach, with some Cherry Barbs, Long Fin. We've got the White Clouds down low. And we've got more Guppies, and Bristilla Tetras. What have we got over here? Looks like, oh, we found some Plecos here. So I'll spend some time here. Colombian Snowball. Looks like green phantom. Let's see what else we can see in here. There's some paraplecos. Should be king tiger. Let's see what we got back there. Um, let's see. Should be a vampire. Oh, these are probably the vampire plecos, not snowballs. Um, yeah, let's see what else we can find here. Some red sword tails. Phantom tetras. Gold head cichlid. Nanakara. Lots of pencil fish. <laughs> Colombians. Leopard Danios. Danio Chorpre, which is nice. That's a nice fish. And some um, dwarf chain loaches. Yeah. That's the hyphen of version of it. Ooh, and leopard frog plecos. Good looking fish. Ah, it wouldn't be complete without rummy noses. Been all this way and I haven't seen any rummies or anything, so. All right, well, my crew is pretty much ready to go to the next fish store, and so, you know, I'm not doing this place justice. Look at that, I mean, look how many filters are up there. Literally, there's so much stuff here. If you live in Portland, you're very lucky. If you get to visit here, you're still lucky. So you definitely want to check it out when you get the chance. Oh, more plecos in here. But so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is the Wet Spot. It's in Portland, Oregon. One of my favorite fish stores is the Hobbyist. Even as a store owner, I still come and check this place out. Uh, I'm gonna try and shoot some more stores. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I thought I'd get one of the biggest stores that I know of as one of the first. And so, you know, make sure you check out the wet spot. You can order online. Um, you know, they're great about that. And uh, yeah, good job, Steve Lumblad and all the crew. So we'll see you in the next one.